Today's homework is on a problem solving question based around area of triangles and cosine rule. So let's have a look at this question. It is asking us to work out the area of the quadrilateral ABCD giving your answer to three significant figures. Now, this quadrilateral, just looking at it, it's quite difficult to work out the area for it. Now, there is a hint in the question that it involves something to do with triangles. There is a line, dotted line, through the middle of this quadrilateral. Now, we can use that to show us that this quadrilateral can be split up into two triangles. Now, if we have a look at this top triangle, so I'm going to name that triangle 1, and this bottom triangle triangle 2. So let's have a look at triangle 1. Now if we want to work out the area of this triangle we do have the perpendicular height but we do not have the base of that triangle. So the question I'm going to ask myself is can I work out this base here? Now the question to that is that base there is the hypotenuse of the triangle below, triangle 2. Now, how can I use the triangle below to work out that length there? If I have a look at it, that triangle does not have a right angle in there. So I can't use Pythagoras or Sakatoa. So what else do I have in my toolbox? I have sine rule and cosine rule if I want to work out lengths or angles in non right angle triangles. So which one is it? I have two lengths, 12 centimeters and 7 centimeters with an angle between them of 130 degrees. So if you have two lengths and an angle between, you need to use the cosine rule. Okay, so if you have two lengths and angle between, you want to work out the third length, you will use the cosine rule. So what is the cosine rule? The cosine rule is a squared is equal to b squared plus c squared minus 2bc times cos a. So how do we label this? Now A is the missing, we could name A as the missing length. So I'm going to call that side A. B and C can be in any order. So now all I'm going to do is substitute these values into my equation to work out the length A. So A squared is equal to B squared. Okay, so B we've labeled as 12. So 12 squared plus 7 squared minus 2 times 12 times 7 times cos and the angle between them is 130 degrees. Okay, this equals to, pop this into your calculator, ensure your calculator is in degrees mode. Okay, if it's not, just reset it by pressing shift 9 the number 3 and equals and equals again. That should reset your calculator and put it into degrees mode. Coming back to the question, so a squared will equal 300.988831A4. So a, to get a, I will need to square root. So a will equal to 17.3490141. OK. Now, when we're not going to round at this stage. Remember, never round in the middle of your working out. OK, so never round in the middle of the working out. I know it's a really long number. You just have to be careful 
when you're going to type it into the calculator later on. Okay, so now I have length A, I can work out the area of triangle 1. Okay, so let's work out the area of triangle 1. do that by doing base times height divided by 2 okay because it's we have a perpendicular height or a vertical height so we can use the formula base times height divided by 2 in this case it's going to be 17.3 for nine zero one four nine one times in by the height, the perpendicular height of eight, dividing that by two, which is equal to sixty nine point three nine six zero five nine six five centimeters squared. So now that's just the area of triangle one. Okay. Now we're going to work out the area of triangle 2. I'm just going to erase the ink on the slide because I need more, some more space. So let's work out the area of triangle 2. Now here we don't have a vertical height or a perpendicular height. So we need to use the other formula for area of a triangle which is it's half AB times sine C okay so if you have two lengths and the angle between them you can also use that to work out the area of the triangle so how do we label it in this case okay in this case a and b will be the two lengths that you have and c will be the the third length the one that is opposite the angle so now we substitute into this formula so a half times a which is 12 times by b which is 7 and times by sine and the angle between them which is 130 degrees pop that into your calculator and you get the answer of 32.1738661 centimeters squared okay so we have the area of triangle 2 we worked out the area of triangle 1 so the total area of the quadrilateral will be area triangle 1 add area triangle 2 so area triangle 1 the answer for that was 69.3960 and I'm going to add it to the second triangle which is 32.1738666 that gives me a total of 101.5699263 centimeter squared now coming to the final mark give your answer to three significant figures so I count from the beginning of my number unless it starts with a zero so one two and three third significant figure will be after that and this will round up to a hundred and two the number after the line is five so we round up so it's hundred and two centimeters squared 
that will be my final answer. For the total area of the quadrilateral. Have a go at this similar question. Upload your answers to class charts for your teacher to check. Thank you.